Hello, Facebook fans and YouTube fans of DX Engineering. It's Friday afternoon here in the Eastern Time Zone of the USA. It's time for the weekend special. Hi, I'm Tim K3LR, and today I want to talk about an exciting new antenna. And uh, if you haven't seen it yet, it's on the cover of March QST. So if you haven't gotten March QST yet, you will. And when you get it, that's Don WD8DSB on the cover with his new RFI uh, seeking antenna. And uh, so we're going to talk about that today. Uh, Don did a lot of work on it, and uh, we're, we're going to have some excitement here at the end. So let's take a look at the art. Um, I want to take a look at the article. So we'll uh, uh, I'll bring that up here on the screen so you can see the article. And uh, that should be up there very shortly. Okay. Um, so this is the portable flag antenna for uh, HF radio direction finding. And uh, the, the front to back ratio of this is typically 12 to 21 dB. So it's a very simple design, highly effective. And if we take a look at the pattern of this antenna, you can see that it's got, it's very broad off of the front. Um, in the back though, it pinches down and has great directivity. Uh, so this is what we, we are going to use to find noise by looking for where the null in the noise is. And then we know that the noise is exactly 180 degrees out from that. But the problem is, is that you can't peak on the noise. Um, you have to use the null. The peak is way too broad. And you can see the construction down there on the bottom of page 34. Dawn used uh, some wood, uh, very inexpensive, and it's two foot by four foot. So two foot high by four foot. And then there on the vertical pieces, there are, there's a feed point and also a resistor. And that's what exp is explained on page 35, where you can see the transformer that actually transforms the high impedance balanced feed to the coax. And in this case, I think he used RG174 coax. And then on the figure nine um, is, I'm sorry, figure five, is the resistor that goes on the other vertical element. And uh, so he's got all the details here. And in the summary, at the end of this, you see that DX Engineering offers a complete kit, uh, part number DXE-noise loop that is based on this design. And uh, DX Engineering will off also offer a 30 dB preamp, which is very important because this, this antenna has very low gain. So let's take a look at the DX engineering um, noise loop here on the DX engineering page. And if you just type in WDA uh, DSB or you type in noise loop in the search box, you will get this. And what comes up is the DX engineering noise loop. And here it is. This is Corey W3CDG. He's our manufacturing manager. So he oversaw the construction of this and there's the noise loop without Corey and of course here is the directive pattern and uh, if we take a look here is the DX engineering instruction manual for the noise loop so this this is online you can look through it now and uh, again it tells you that it's a unidirectional um, and uh, loop, and there's the, the pattern, and a reminder that this is a receive-only antenna. You do not transmit through it. And uh, then here are the parts lists that are in the DX engineering kit. So there are clamps and clips, and uh, the insulated loop wire, and the coax with a BNC connector, and uh, printed circuit boards, and the materials to build the transformer. So the first thing you do after you check in all the parts is you go on to build the transformer. And it's very easy to do. 
uh, with your green wire that is the uh, secondary and the red wire is the primary. And so all these parts are included in the DX Engineering Noise Loop Kit. And it, it walks you through step-by-step step of how to make this transformer. And then you can see here the printed circuit board for the transformer and going to the feed line. And it shows how using the double-sided tape to mount the transformer and then how to solder here. And then uh, also to put the wire in for the uh, resistor. This is the uh, resistor that goes on the other vertical element. Here are the spreaders. Instead of using um, wood, uh, we used fiberglass, small fiberglass. And so uh, by using this piece of starboard, the fiberglass is the X to support the two foot by four foot loop. And here you can see the resistor on the one vertical element. And then uh, here is uh, soldering the coax on onto the, um, the ferrite transformer. And it shows you exactly how to use the clamps to put the, uh, instead of, again, instead of wood, this is a fiberglass rod that is used to hold it. And then how you route the coax, and we include the uh, tie wraps that you need. And then very important at the end to use a, um, a rig expert or some other suitable antenna analyzer and check to make sure that the SWR is about 1.1 at uh at the top about one at 160 meters and then at the, the highest frequency about 30 megahertz it's two to one and uh, so here's uh the overall of the receiving loop and then this is the optional pre-amplifier attenuator uh that is available from dx engineering to be used as well so uh aim towards the noise source looking for the null point and that's off of the resistor. And uh, so here are the patterns. Off of the resistor, that's where the null is, okay? And so here are two patterns, one on 160 meters and one on 10 meters. Notice that the directivity is not as good on 10 meters. That's because the loop actually starts to uh, become almost, not almost full size, but it's, it's much more full size than 160 meters. So this loop is not, really usable higher than 30 megahertz and uh, so all the information is in the manual which you can get right off of the website and if you uh take a look at the this is the preamp that is not currently on the shelf however the noise loops are the noise loops are available for uh you can buy them right today uh, they are on the shelf but the um there is a nice video that Don did on uh, YouTube here, the WDA DSB portable flag. Take a look at that video when you have a chance. And uh, here is the DX Engineering uh, attenuator preamp. Uh, <clears throat> this can create up to 30 dB of gain using a nine volt battery. It also has an AM broadcast filter in it, should you need that. And it also has um, two steps of attenuation once you get close to the noise. So that you can look uh, for noise with this uh, for power line noise. You can look for uh, noise that might be caused by a wall wart, or maybe it's an outside light. Maybe it's a grow light. Uh, all types of RFI noise from 1.8 through 30 megahertz are available to, uh, to be looked at with this. So it's, it's a, a quite uh, useful tool to have this preamp to go along with it because the, noise, the loop on itself is, um, is, is really uh, does not have much gain at all. In fact, it's got almost 40 dB of loss. It's minus 40 dB, um, and, and that's uh, on 80 meters. At 160 meters, it's almost 50 dB down. So you do need a preamp to go into the receiver. So I wanted to show everybody today about the noise loop that has just been made available at DX Engineering and the companion preamp that will be in stock soon. Um, Corey and his team are manufacturing them, and we should have them up on the shelf before April 6th. So that gives you uh, some ideas of what's going on at DX Engineering. Let's see 
Uh, if there are any questions in the chat room, and of course, uh, uh, kicking us off, it's Travis, W3 Tango, Mike Bravo, and Kilo Lima 4 Sierra X-Ray from Alaska, and Greg, November Charlie 7 Bravo out in Arizona, K Charlie Victor Mike, India Uniform 3 Bravo Tango Yankee, Oscar Hotel 1 Echo, Oscar Radio from Finland, from Brazil, it's Papa Yankee 2 Bravo Norway, and Mike says, thank you, DX Engineering, from Kilo X-Ray 4 Zulu Echo, from uh, the Virginia Blue Mountains. And uh, Mark uh, N4BCD says, this might make a useful noise-canceling input when using the phased receiver preamp. Yes, uh, it could be used for that. I think it could actually be used as a directional antenna for receiving on 80 and 40 meters, and it doesn't have to be very high off the ground. And... Uh, Mike, uh, Kilo X-Ray, let's see, Kilo X-Ray Zulu Echo. Thank you for yesterday's coax install system. That was a lot of fun. And from Nicaragua, it's Yankee November 1, Zulu Oscar Juliet. And uh, hello to Kilo 3, Kilo Tango Bravo. And uh, Joe, K0NEB says, looks like a fun kit to build. Yeah, it'll take you probably less than two hours to put the kit together. But everything is, uh, is there. Uh, is there any benefit to phasing a couple more of these loops? Well, this is a handheld loop, so that would make it pretty hard to uh, navigate around with, Mark. Uh, but uh, good evening to you over in London. And uh, Dino says, interesting new tool for combining and finding RFI. Kilo Lima Zero Sierra. And uh, Herm says, thanks for the excellent information. Whiskey Charlie 8 Hotel. And also, uh, Eric, uh, Kilo 2, Kilo Papa, and Victor Alpha 3, Queen Fox. And uh, let's see, we have Kilo 8, Victor, Golf, Lima. Jerry, nice to see you. And Kevin, W6, Alpha, Alpha, Echo. But like all DX Engineering products, you get a really nice manual uh, with it. You know, it's, it's just beautiful. Lots of uh, pictures, good drawings, and explanations. Let's talk about... Uh, the pieces of the kit. I talked about the uh, fiberglass to hold it. You know, this is this is nice stuff. It's really nice fiberglass that you can use uh, for the handheld turning of the antenna. And then these are the two fiberglass spreaders that actually are used to hold the uh, loop wire, right? And and it's done in an X configuration. So these are the two fiberglass pieces. They're cut to length and ready to go. They come in the box with the kit. And then you get a, uh, you get four different bags of parts. So this is the first bag. And what's in this bag? Well, we have uh, the coax and the loop wire. And notice that the coax has the BNC connector already on the one end. And then the loop wire is there too. Uh, you get the tie wraps to hold the coax down to the uh, spreader or I'm sorry, to the rotational fiberglass. And then this is the starboard that is already pre-drilled and ready to go that will actually hold the fiberglass spreaders. Um, you get high quality DX engineering clamps uh, that are used to hold down the spreaders. So, I mean, these are, these are our, our uh, DX engineering uh, saddle clamps. You get a bag of those. You get a bag of uh, all the parts to hold down the wire and all the hardware, including nylock nuts. And then you get the, the, the final bag is the bag with the two printed circuit boards. And these are really nicely done printed circuit boards. There's labeling on there so you can see where the components go. And uh, there's a solder mask, very, very nicely done. And then this is the board for the resistor and uh, very straightforward and then here are the components for the transformer there's the ferrite in there and uh, there's the uh, double-sided tape and also the resistor is in there so all the parts are here to make the noise loop so it's a a, a pretty easy build uh if you it's just as easy as a heat kit it really is uh, very well done manual. Thank you to KB8UUZ, our master manual guy. And uh, everything is in the kit. 
so that you can go find RFI. That's what it's all about. And let's see if we have any other comments or questions here. And uh, let's see, Kevin, Kilo 3, Kilo Tango Bravo says he's on the DX Engineering site now ordering a battery and have a mug and a sweatshirt in the cart too. So good deal. Um, that sweatshirt, man, I'll tell you, it's going to be handy this week. It's going to be cold here. Uh, Ed, uh, Kilo Mike 6, Uniform Tango Charlie. And Brian, Kilo 7, Kilo X-Ray. And uh, Joe, yes, you should write about this kit. I think uh, I think you would really like it. This is uh, this is a really nice uh, kit. It's right up your alley, Joe K0NEB, and uh, we think that this is going to be a great product for people that are having noise trouble and want to find out where it is. And this handheld directional antenna that WD8DSB put in the March QST, which is if you haven't received it yet, you will. And, of course, the digital version is on the ARRL.org website. So if you are uh, an ARRL member, you can go read the article right now. And uh, d like I said, Don's article that's in there uses wood. And the, the DX Engineering version of this has uh, all fiberglass. It's all fiberglass. So it's lightweight and strong and durable. And it's not, as Don says, it's not so big that you can't put it in the back of the car, you know, when you're out trying to find out where the noise is coming from. And noise is a, uh, is a terrible problem uh, for almost every amateur radio operator I know. And, and uh, so this is one more tool in the tool bag of finding RFI noise. And, of course, you hook this, you could hook it up to an IC705. You can hook this up to... Um, I have a, a small R1 uh, scanner from ICOM that I use for noise finding. And so that BNC connector mates right to it and uh, we're off and going. So this weekend I'll be putting together uh, the noise loop here. And uh, I've got a few noises that we found last weekend during the 160 meter contest. So I got to get busy and uh, find them. So uh, if you have any other questions, so uh, we can take those now if not take a look at the website and take a look at this i mean it's a great value it's less than 120 dollars and uh, by the time you would cut all the pieces and get all the clamps and do everything uh you might be able to save a few bucks here or there but the the printed circuit boards you know they're very nice and it just makes it so easy to put this noise loop together and get it going and we walk you through how to build the transformer and, of course, uh, use uh, Don's article as well. It's very well written. Don is a, is a great engineer. He has uh, produced uh, a lot of things that have helped others find RF noise. So, um, and then stay tuned for the, uh, for the preamp uh, because that's going to be a great piece to have in the toolbox too. And uh, John says there's no greater vexation to a ham spirit <laughs> Then S9 plus 10 dB unidentified RFI. And uh, nice to see you, Dr. John KB3H. And uh, so Joe, K0NEB, he likes the double-sided uh, pre-tin board. Very high quality board. And uh, it just, it makes it easy to assemble and it's going to be reliable. Um, there's going to be, uh, you know, you're going to have good connections. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it. And I actually think that uh, you could use it as a directional antenna for, uh, you know, put it on the noise in the null and you would be able to hear more signals on the low frequency bands uh, because it does have directivity. I could see guys putting it on a rotor, even ground mounted or even up maybe eight or 10 feet. Um, I think it could be uh, kind of a, a stealth directional antenna for low frequency use. So. Uh, just another tool in the toolbox to have fun with amateur radio. So I hope you enjoyed the DX Engineering Noise Loop by WD8DSB. Don, thanks so much for working with us here at DX Engineering. I hope you had fun today watching the show. And yesterday when we had Aaron on doing all the uh, coax stripping and last week when we were talking about 160 meter antennas, that's what this hobby is all about, having fun. And here at DX Engineering, we want to help you have as much fun as you want to have.
So stay in touch, get on the air, and I hope to see you next time for Tuesdays with Tim and Jeff, Tuesday afternoon, 1.15 Eastern Time. See you then in 73 from K3LR.